Assisting with the bedpan. This is used for patients who are unable to get out of bed due to illness or injury. If not performed often, it can lead to incontinence, which causes skin breakdown, urinary tract infection, and also loss of patient dignity. If performed incorrectly, it can cause increased pressure and tissue damage to the sacrum, coccyx, and buttocks. You have three to four minutes to complete this skill. You will need one bedpan, one roll of toilet paper, one package of wipes, and four gloves. Hello, Ms. Kanisha. I'm Nicole and be your caregiver today. Let me just check your wristband. I see your call light was on. Would you like me to assist you with your bedpan? Yeah. Okay. So, you put the bedpan under the head of the bed. It needs to be flat. So, if it's up, go ahead and put it down. So, put the head of your bed flat. And I'm going to raise the height of the bed to my waist, again, to protect my back. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and walk around to the other side of your bed and give you a little bit of privacy. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hands and get the supplies and I'll be right back. So wash hands, simulator for state. Go ahead and put my gloves on. You never want to touch the bedpan without gloves on. The bedpan is considered contaminated. So you're going to put your gloves on first. When the bedpan goes under the patient, you have a wide end and a narrow end. The wide end goes towards the head, the narrow end goes towards the feet and you cannot transfer the bedpan back and forth, one hand only. So take the other hand and pick up the tissue and the hand wipes. We're gonna go put these on the bedside table and leave those there for now. So again, once the bedpan can only touch one hand, if you switch it back and forth, you have two dirty hands. So take the other hand, lift the sheet up, just enough for you to see. You wanna ask your patient to bend their knees and lift their hips for you. Go ahead and put the bedpan under. Then have the patient to rest down and before you, um, before you move your hand, tell the patient to so let me know if I need to adjust the bedpan or not. Can you move it to the left a little bit? To the left. All right, that's better. Okay, so once you, the patient says it's adjusted, go ahead and drop the sheet. Don't touch anything. Your hands are dirty, so you go ahead. You want to take your gloves off the right way. And you want to put the, the gloves in the trash. You want to wash your hands, so then we simulate. And then we come back with clean hands and we raise the head of the bed for the patient. Okay, just let me know when the head of your bed is up high enough. I need to put my legs down. If it makes you comfortable, you can sit however you want to sit. So more than that's enough. That's okay. Okay, let's go ahead and fix your sheet. Okay, I'm gonna give you a call light. Give you a call light. So um, I'm going to bring the table over and I'll tell you what's going to have your tissue and your hand wipes. So you want to go ahead and wipe yourself with the tissue and you put the tissue in the bedpan when you're done. And then you're going to go ahead and wipe your hands with the, with the wipes and these are not flushable so you want to put those in the trash can, okay? The trash can is right beside your bed. And so you'll give you your call light and just let me know when you're done. So then you go out, you wash your hands again, simulate it for state, grab a new pair of gloves, Come back in. Hello, Miss Kanisha. I see you had your light on. You all finished? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we'll go ahead and move the, um, move the bed pan out of the way. Move the table out of the way, I mean. So we're going to go ahead and put the head of the bed flat. And remember, before you put the bed pan in and before you take the bed pan out, the head of the bed has to be flat. I'm going to go ahead and put the head down. And you want to put your gloves on. Remember again, you never touch the bedpan without gloves. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lift the sheet again. So if you can bend your knees and lift your hips for me one more time. I'm going to pull this out. Make sure you don't spill. Okay, so go ahead and grab the supplies in the other hand. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to go to the sink. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and walk over. I'm going to put our tissue and our wipes in the designated dirty area. I'm going to lift the toilet seat up. And you want to make sure you get a paper towel to turn the water on because your gloves are dirty. Okay, 
Okay. So now we're going to rinse the bedpan twice. You rinse it and then you dump it into the commode. Make sure you dump it from the, the pointed end, otherwise it won't go out. And you do it one more time. You don't have to pat dry a bedpan, so we go ahead and put this away in the designated dirty area. Okay, we're going to put the lid down and we will flush the toilet. We're going to take our gloves off the right way. Put these in the trash can. We're going to simulate washing hands, grab a paper towel, turn the water off. Let me go back over to the bedside and we finish up. So we come back over. So I'm going to go ahead and fix your sheets back. The bed back down in the lowest position. How do you feel? You feel a bit better now? Yeah. Okay, back in the lowest position for the patient's safety. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove your privacy screen. to the way you found it. Okay, I'm gonna give you your call light. You have your call light in your hand. Is there anything I can do for you before I go? No. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my hands and document the procedure and the skill is complete.